Top 7 Things Palm Reading Says About You Hello people, how often do you wish to own a time machine and step into your future? Caught you! The thought of peeping into the future is certainly enticing. Since we don't have access of this wonder as yet, we decided to rely on an ancient practice for your little adventure. Confused? We're talking about palmistry, one of the highest ranked forms of learning in ancient times. If you haven't heard about this fortune-telling art, you've been living under a rock for centuries. The size of your palm and fingers together with the lines and crosses on your hands have a story to tell about your life. True or not, this art manages to pull us by sparking our curiosity. Now, shall we delve deeper into the world of palmistry and predict our future written on our dominant hand? Number one, attention to detail. Like we said, palmistry is not limited to just the lines. It begins with the length of your fingers. On an average, the longest finger of the hand is only about 7 eighths of the size of the palm. So now you have an idea when to call your fingers small or long. Anyway, long fingers are a sign that you have incredible attention to detail, which sounds hilarious because it also means that you're a bad planner. The thing is that people with long fingers tend to overanalyze all the details, not satisfied till they know things inside out to take action. Any idea what the most interesting part about this feature is? There are more long-fingered women than men. <clears throat> we guess they are happy about it. Number two, health issues. Want an insight into your health? The health line on your palm holds the answers. It runs from the mount of mercury below the little finger down to the base of the palm. Hey, don't be worried if you don't have a health line because its absence means that you have a lifeline of good health. In case you do have this line, look closely if it rises from the lifeline because any contact between the two lines indicate fragility of health. If your health line crosses the lifeline, then there's a possibility of genetic diseases. Now, if your health line is chained, you might be plagued by a series of health issues related to bladder or stomach. Yikes! But if you have a clear lifeline, then you can expect vitality, strength, and immunity. Number three, love for family. This part is very interesting. Time to test your loyalty. Look at the base of your thumb. Do you see lines? That's called the family loyalty ring. The deeper and clearer the line is, the stronger your connection with your family is and the more importance it has in your life. If you have two rings at your thumb's base, you will have two families. Confused? Well, this could be due to adoption or by second marriage and any breaks in the ring shows periods of family trouble. Another interesting fact about your love for family is hidden in the length of your fingers. If your index finger is longer than the ring finger, it shows that you have strong ties to your family. Plus, if the padding at the ball of your thumb is soft to touch without being puff, you have the time and energy for your family. Nice! Number four, setbacks in life. Your lifeline generally occurs just above the thumb to either the Mount of Venus or the Mount of Luna, which sits below the little finger. Now look at this line and see if it is chained. If you said yes to this, you might be plagued with misfortune in your life. Chains over certain sections of the line represent shocks in those periods of time. It also indicates that you will suffer heartbreak and illness and that you're prone to letting stress interfere in your life. When it comes to setbacks in life, the sun line ideally running from the mount of moon to under the ring finger has something to say. If the line only runs to the center of the palm, it means that your success is going downhill. While a broken sun line is a sign of frustrations and setbacks, a wavy line indicates that it is your lack of confidence that is causing all the problems. Number 5. Meanness has meaning. Your heart line has so much to say about your personality that you'll be amazed. If the heart line is clear and unbroken and forks at the end, then you can rejoice because it is a sign that you are a warm-hearted person with a life full of love. Now, if we say that you're ruthless and self-centered, you may get offended, but there's no point faking things. Come on. You can see a short or completely absent heart line on your palm as a proof of these negative traits in your core. Wait, there's more. If your love line curves downwards, you may have a rocky road to love or even have a loveless life with troubled relationships because of your attitude towards others. Ouch, that hurts. Number six, socializing as per palms. Take a good look at your hands and tell us if they are very wide at the base, appear flattened with elongated fingers, 
Basically, they resemble the kitchen utensil spatula. If you said yes, you're probably a fun and overly social person with a zest for life. Wow! It also means that you have a keen interest in learning new things and that there's an excitable energy ever flowing through you. All's not so rosy for you because the downside to this is that you're impatient and often feel unsettled being a curious person. Number 7. Creative Juices what if we told you that having a long index finger is a sign of innate creativity? It is even stronger if the ring finger is wider, and since this finger is governed by Apollo, it signifies a love for beauty and artistic flair. Now, we aren't saying that you'll always be in dream world because it also shows that you are result-oriented, so it becomes important for you to finish what you started. This sounds very practical. The mental attitude behind this satisfaction in finishing is represented by the headline, which, if stoops toward the Mount of Moon, shows that you have significant power of imagination, if it isn't afflicted by crosses or islands. If this is your hand, you may even have an affinity for writing. Wow! Which of these palm revelations shocked you the most? Tell us in the comment section below. Subscribe to our channel if you like this video. And while you're here, check out our other videos and tell us what you think of them. You can also find us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Thanks for watching.